So you want to run a Bitcoin node in your um, Raspberry Pi if you find one. Uh, okay, what you need to do, you need to go to umbrel.com uh, umbrel website, uh, scroll down. Um, they have an Umbrel home uh, NAS. So if you scroll down, I was already there. If you scroll down, uh, I actually need to click Umbrel OS. Okay. Scroll. Then you find this place, how to install. And then here you see what you need and download Umbrel OS, you click here. I put this link already somewhere. Umbrel OS, Umbrel OS zip, okay. Then with this, um, you need to go to Palen, Etzer Palena IO. I already downloaded it, uh, it's one giga. When you click, uh, when you click here, download Umbrel, you will get this zip and then it's one giga of size, a little bit less. I already opened it up. And then this Umbrel OS V053 image with this uh, Balena, um, so download the Balena Etcher, you can download it for Mac OS or Linux and then basically it already shows here select image you select the uh, Umbrella OS image then you select drive it would be better instead of micro SD you uh, flash it directly into uh, NVMe even better or SSD normal SSD um, uh, drive it using the external enclosure and then you flash it and it should be quite fast just a few minutes then you insert it already in USB of uh, Raspberry Pi and it works as an alternative I would recommend that I use myself Odroid M1 board with 8 gigabyte memory as the Raspberry Pi boards uh, prices instead of less than 100 run over 100 even until 200 uh, euros or dollars then you need anyway maximum 300 250 300 in any case Odroid board is just faster and the NVMe um, slot is directly in the board it's always better but in any case uh, less than 300 euros dollars you, you can have a node 250 300 dollars and if you don't find the Raspberry Pi 4, you can always try the Raspberry Pi 400 unit. So the Raspberry Pi is inside the keyboard. This can be an option. Uh, I think they have the 4 gigabyte option. So if you only want to run a node, uh, it could be an option. Or you could find the compute module. But then you need to find another board. So yeah, basically um, I found the Odroid M1 and I will send video soon to YouTube so you can see it also what I think about it. The size is double the Raspberry Pi but you consider if you consider Raspberry Pi together with uh, SSD enclosure then it's like double the size and this is the size of the Android, P, uh, uh, Android M1 board that there is also already included the NVMe um, uh, SSD over it so you get a little box the height is like half of the 2.5 uh, inch uh, SSD size so I will make a video about it actually I already have it I need to publish it and then you can see it okay thank you and uh, have a nice day hope it's useful put questions in the comments and uh, see you soon bye